On a scale from one to 10, what is your risk tolerance level? So one being you you're, you will not take risk, you have no interest in taking risk, and 10 is you'll do a renovation like this. You'll actually pick up a house, tear out the foundation, and start from scratch. Where does your risk tolerance lie? Well, the truth is you cannot get ahead in life if you don't take some risk. Boats never reach their destination if they stay on the shore or on the dock. You have to go out and take some risk in life. So what is your risk tolerance level? If you're a one, a two, a three, I tell you, you're gonna to have to step your game up to be a successful real estate investor. I'm not saying you become a 10 and jump into a project like this out of the gates. This is not for the faint of heart. This is for definitely a 10 or an 11 or somebody who's a little bit crazy. What I am telling you is this, if you are a two or a three, you're gonna to have to up your game to a three, four or five because you're dealing with bigger numbers in real estate investing. Even if you wanna do short term rentals or if you wanna do wholesales or if you wanna buy and sell or if you wanna you know, build long term rentals, whatever you wanna do, it's gonna take a certain amount of risk. So decide your risk tolerance level and go out there and take action. It's the only way to make it happen.